what you're talking about. Don't, don't try it. Just answer the question. Where were you? What, been... what, 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 hold on. What, you, you think I wouldn't know? I've been here waiting for you to return. Liar! Stop lying to me, Cindy. You're lying. What, you think I wouldn't find out? When did you start lying to me? Why? Huh? Hold on. Where's this rubbish coming from? I have been here, I've been at home, waiting for you to come back. I see. I get it. So, so, so this is what you do now, right? That's why you don't even care when, I, when, when I'm out, you don't care, you don't, you don't care to know nothing. You don't get why? Because you have your own agenda by, by the side. That's not true. I have been at home, waiting for you to return. So who is this person that you have become? I don't even know you anymore, Cindy. I don't know you. Are you serious right now? Mom, good morning. Good morning. You're going to work early today. Yes, something important I need to take care of. Okay, come and have a bit of breakfast. Breakfast is ready. See you later, Mom. Okay, then. Have a nice day. Don't mind him. Eat your food. Don't let this man start manipulating you with their shakara. You know what? In fact, don't cook for him again. Pack your things and move to the other room. Just watch. He will be the one coming to beg you. I'm telling you something that will work for you. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. You need to tell her everything you just said about the husband. In fact, I want you to tell her that you saw them coming out from the hotel. Ah, no, no, mama. It was actually a boutique I saw them coming out from. I know. But you have to say something, something that will make it worse. Tell her. Tell her it's not the first time you're seeing them coming out from the hotel. That you always see them and she's always with different women. I want you to say something that will really, that will really catch fire in that house. And what if she doesn't believe me? You make her believe you. Make her believe you. Right now, her husband is angry with her. When she, when you should believe you, she, she will not be angry with her husband. Then in that case, two of them, there will be problem in that house. And that is what I want. I want trouble in that house. How? Belinda, use your brain now. Come on, use your brain. No, 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 no. Explain let, to me. let me tell you something. Now that the husband is angry with her, if she's angry at her husband as well, two of them will drift apart. And that will separate them for life. Which is what I want. I want to separate this, those two people. I need to separate them. Mm -hmm. You actually have a plan. I think you're right. Cindy, at first, I didn't want to tell you. Because I just felt it might tear your family apart. But again, I thought about it and my conscience could not let me keep it to myself. I need to talk to you about it before it gets too late. Please, you need to calm down. Me calm down? Yes, you need to calm down, Cindy. Please, don't allow this to break you down. It's not your fault that you have a husband who has been cheating on you. Look at you. You're still beautiful, young. Please, you need to walk out of this before it gets too late for you. I am not mad at my husband right now. I am mad at you, Belinda. Seriously? So this is what I get for coming here to give vital information to a friend? If at this age I don't know who my friends are, then I am a big fool. Belinda, you need to learn to mind your business. <laughs> hey, this is getting really serious. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Cindy. So I came here to speak to you about your cheating husband. And this is all I get, right? Instead of you taking my advice to tame your cheating husband. Oh, no, 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 no. You tame yourself, Belinda. Yes, I know my husband cheats. But he comes home to me every single day. He loves and respects me and that is enough for me. Maybe. Just maybe you need to beam your unsolicited sex life into finding a man you can call your own. Don't you ever beam your light at my husband again. Get out. I should get out? Me? Me, Belinda? Get out of your house, Cindy. Belinda, next time you see my husband with another woman, 
or hear of my husband with another woman, don't tell me. I am not interested. Mind your business. Cindy? Yes! Yes, I am happy in my marriage. Okay? He treats me like a queen. My husband is not a saint. And I would never have married a saint in the first place. So that devil I know is better than the angel that I do not know. If you don't mind, I am a very, very busy married woman. I have things to do upstairs. Get out. Um, Bariga! See her to the gate. Cindy, really? I beg, I beg. I don't want to touch anybody. I don't want to beat anybody. They go out now to the gates. They go now. They go. They go, they go. Careful of the women they take to boutiques to shop for, and the ones they take to hotels as well, because they can kill. And we have a long list of people that have died already. What are you talking about? is talking to my wife. I know it. I know it. She wouldn't be bothered if she wasn't talking to someone. I know. How sure are you that she is not investigating you? It's my wife. I know her. I've lived with her for years. I, I, look, if she wouldn't be so perturbed if she wasn't getting some kind of information from somebody. What's going on? I need to know. Then who could that be? I don't know. I would have to investigate to, to find out who that person is. You should be among her friends now. Oh, well then. then you will have to help me find out. What friend? And from where? Just be careful before you complicate things for yourself. Right, thank you. Bariga! Come. Who amongst your madam's friends um, came here the last time? Who amongst your Are you okay. repeating after me? Okay, sir, okay, sir. Now the parrot too. What are you talking about? Who's a parrot? That one we tall, we black, we get hips, we get kill leg. Ha! Oh God! If you see the way she carry shaking ash for yeah. One day I go come meet for this gate one day. If you see a nyash, oh God, hey, oh God, you go like her. Keep quiet. Take your mind out of the gutter. I have told you. Stop having dirty thoughts towards the people that come here. If you feel that you need a woman around you. Go to your place, bring your wife. Because if you carry on this way and sexually assault anyone here, I'm going to stand back and watch them take you to prison. Do you hear me? Take your mind out of the gutter and behave yourself. Open the gate. Okay, sir. Belindo Zakara, what have I done to you? Why are you telling me?
wife. Come here. I no go fit carry my wife come here. Don't go spoil her for me. But you see that madam friend, I go catch her one day. You see that? I go catch her one day. Are you sure you came here to warn me? Or you want something else? Listen, listen, my friend. If you want something else, who knows? I might grant your request. And apparently, my house is very conducive for anything whatsoever. So talk to me. What can I possibly want from a person like you, Belinda? What? I'm here to ask you to leave my family alone. Stop feeding my wife with negative information about me. Stop it. Me? Fed your wife with negative information? Come on, Nathan. You think I'm that jobless? Huh? Are you saying that you did not say anything at any point to my wife? Come on, Nathan. Why do you think I'll say anything to your wife? Huh? You know I like you a lot. And I wouldn't want to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Find this person. If it wasn't you, then find this person. Help me. Help me find this person who constantly feeds my wife with negative information about me. Help me. Now you're talking, Nathan. Now you're talking. If you need my help with anything, you know I'm always here to help you. Okay? I'm going to help you, but for now, can you just sit down? Let me get you something to eat, okay? I said, sit down. Let me get you something to eat. Stop! Stop throwing yourself on me. Nathan, stop taking my hands away. Let's just do this. Nobody will find out, okay? Oh. What is wrong with you? But you think I came here to play? When are you going to stop throwing yourself around me? It won't happen. It's never going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Coward. Who do you think you are, Nathan? Who do you think you are? Oh, oh, oh. You think I don't know you? I know everything about you. You've been going around town, messing around with all these nasty women. And for your information, I am the one that told your wife everything. Yes. You did, huh? Yes, I did. Belinda, do it one more time. Do it one more time. And I will kill you. You? <laughs> you, Nathan, kill me? <laughs> what a joke. You are such a big joke. Stay off my case. You hear me? Stay off my case. Don't say I didn't want you now. You Stay away from me. You are just lucky that that stupid friend of mine fell in love with you. You don't deserve her, Nathan. Huh? So arrogant. You should be pleased that I'm giving myself to you. You're scaring me with that look. Do you have plans of killing me or running into your novel? God forbid, which boyfriend? Do you have plans of taking my life and running off with your new boyfriend? I ask you again. Which boyfriend? So you can't remember? Or just that you have too many of them? God forbid. You know that I don't have any boyfriend. I can't be with any man but you. So why are you hiding this individual from me? That was a mistake. I thought you trusted me. I trust you and that's why we're talking. That's why we're having this conversation. Because I, I trust you enough to know that you cannot cheat on me. But you hiding and keeping things from me worries me. So what is going on? I didn't want you to blow it out of proportion. I 
I, I knew that I could handle it. I wanted to do it my way, and I, and I handled it. See, see where it has left me, right? See, 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 see how that gets me feeling. All right, you should have told me still. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's not I, keep secrets, baby. It's not our style. I'm sorry. I won't keep any more secrets from you. I'm sorry. I'm scared, though. All right. You too. You're scaring me with that look. Don't hurt me, please. I can't live without you. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry. I can't live without you. I can't. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Sorry. 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 Oh. 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 Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> ah. It looks like you're going to your shop today. That, that's really nice. That's quite impressive, you know. What's good then? It's, it's a day of work. I'm having quality time. You mean both of you don't have anything good to do with your time? Ah, no, Mom. Oh, the it's thing a... is, we are on buses, so we, um, we decided to take the day off and spend. Yeah, yeah, have quality, some quality time, you know, it's a day of... Oh, shut up! Shut up! Who are you to talk? You are now NTA, BBC or CNN. Who ask you? You're just so initiating. You know that wasn't for you, right? Absolutely. Where was I? B -b -b stop! No. Oh! Where was I? I was trying to say... That you, you cannot get people to love you if you don't love yourself first. Ah. Are you not going to prepare dinner? Why are you sitting out here pressing food? Oh, my husband is in the kitchen, he's making dinner. You said? Yes, he sometimes he likes to spoil me a little by going into the kitchen and making food. So now he's asking me to relax while he makes dinner. Hey! Abomination. You mean you allow your husband to cook in the kitchen? Why do you sit out here to press phone? But Mama, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Shut up! Oh, shut up! What do you mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with that? Not as if you have any child you're taking care of. I don't even know why you're so happy as a barren woman. Mama! I don't understand. Don't mama me. I am not your mother. If you feel insulted that I called you a barren woman, then provide me an evidence that you're not a dry land. No, provide it! Yes. Stop crying, it's fine. Listen, Mama, we'll have to leave first thing tomorrow morning, alright? You can't continue this way. No, 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 you, you can't send her out of my own account, please. You can't be send your mother out of your own house. Don't. No, but, but, but she's been nothing but trouble since she came here. Let her. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm fine, I'm not crying again. I'm Baby, okay. you're not fine, okay? Can she not be normal for once? Huh? It's okay, but. Okay, okay, okay. You're not, you're crying. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Love is yours. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My bold star. The earth I believe. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh, don't leave me. Yeah. In any land where I will. I'd like to have a word with you. Honestly, Mom, I don't know how. I don't know how to say this because I have said it countless times, Mom. Please, respect my marriage, respect my wife. 
Why would you call my wife barren, Mom? She's not barren. She's not barren. My wife is not barren. Please, stop calling her barren. Please, for as long as you're here with us, do not call my wife barren. She's not barren. I don't like it. Okay. If she's not barren, why hasn't she given you a child? A woman is married and cannot give birth to a child. That woman is barren. How the tables turn very fast, Mom. You have suddenly forgotten. that you walked down the same path. How long did it take you to have me after you married my father? Did you forget, Mom, that you waited for so many years? Have you suddenly forgotten how it feels when everyone expects you as a woman to come through with a child and it's not happening yet? No one humiliated you like this. No one called you barren, Mom. I don't think so. So please, stop. Because you can't stop if you want to stop, Mom. My wife is not barren. See, let me tell you. That emotional blackmail won't work on me. No, it won't work. Your father was not the only son. He has other siblings that their children can continue their lineage. Your case is different. You are my only son. Please, leave my wife and I alone. She's going to have a child. When the time comes, a child would come. Please, please, please. I won't leave you alone. I won't. You are my only son. Get that into your skull. Don't worry. I promise you, very soon, your eyes will open. How can you... Choose that bad luck of a wife over your own mother. How? I won't leave you. Your eyes will open very soon. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, the more, peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. I can't allow this. No way. I can't allow it. I will do whatever it takes to send Sydney out of this house. I will do it. Uh huh. Mamuju. I'm not fine, I'm not fine, please. I need your help. I need a direction to that man's place. That man you went to where your husband was misbehaving. I need his directions. It's not what I can start saying on the phone. Just send me the direction to his place. I want to go there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Sydney, let's see how you can escape this. <laughs> I'm serious, it's not a joke. Wait. I'm telling you. Wait, wait. Ah. Let it wait. No. Wait, wait. You mean you mean you've been actually running from women? Like they want to pull your trousers and you're like, oh, wait, please wait, I I don't like it. You mean that? Why would I run? How am I sure that someone didn't send them? Well, no, how are we them. certain that someone did not send them? Who did? What? Okay, how do you explain the fact that a woman is pressuring a man to sleep with her? No, no, that's not how it works. It's the other way around. Look at this one. Yeah, I'm telling you. Wait, 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 wait. Is it because you've been paying for sex? Oh, you don't even know that there are so many women out there looking for men to sleep with them, to service them. You um, don't know. I'm not that kind of man. Let them look elsewhere. I'm not that kind of man. Let them leave me alone. There was a fun in it. Oh. oh yeah, what's the fun? Listen, the fun in this thing is the chase. Do you understand? I see. The follow-up, the chase, the constant chase. You focus, you focus. Till the day you slap, 
the person. Then you know you have conquered. That's the beauty of it. You know what, Nathan? Yeah. You know you are my very good friend. Uh huh. Next time they come after you, mm. please do not hesitate to send them my way. You know. <laughs> send to who? Me, of course. You? Nah, you have expired. I'll send to a guy that needs it. You, you have expired. You have overused yourself. <laughs> At this rate, my brother, you're going to end up living with a mummy. Relax. How did you know? Listen, my brother, I need to have a test of it. <laughs> so I lost cause. <laughs> it's pointless talking to you. <laughs> no way. You know I'm not going to allow that to happen to me. Maybe it's only Belinda that can allow that. Uh-huh. Talking about Belinda. Has anyone called her? Why is she not here yet? Yeah, about that. I called her the other day to know if she was coming to meet us and she asked where we were going to meet. And I told her here, yeah, she said she can make it. It's been acting coldly towards me My dear, don't bother yourself about Belinda. You know what? Your mother-in-law came to report you the other day to us and she was busy supporting her. My mother-in-law called. Yeah, she called you? And had to tell me about it. Am I not talking to both of you? We're well, sorry for not telling you. We felt it might affect you. That's why we didn't tell you. Sorry. Text me. Yeah. Do I look like an illiterate to both of you? There is nothing I can't comprehend. Start spilling it. What did you want? Yes, yeah, so I just finished a reasonable meeting with Madame Vero. And you will not believe what I'm about to tell you. Can you believe that she asked me to name a price so that I'll leave her son for her? She claims her late husband left her a lot of money, but I know that's a lie. <laughs> I beg Noma, let's leave that matter and discuss something else. I told her that I cannot leave my husband for anything in this world. <laughs> yes, no. Uh -huh. Of course. So did you pick it up? Absolutely. Yes, I love the pink one. I'm sorry, Madam Verube, you're confusing me. I was with you on this because I wanted Cindy to leave her husband alone. I did all I did because she has been married and I'm not, and I didn't want to look like the only failure among my friends. But now that you've decided to involve diabolic powers, I'm sorry, but I'm officially signing out from all this. What I'm saying is that I don't want to involve myself with native doctors. Actually, I decided to leave Cindy alone. And if you don't want to do the same, that's your business, but I am out. Thank you. Hey, Madame Vero, when is she ever going to stop? Mom, you're still around. I thought you left. Your wife told you to send me away. Mom, why would my wife? Mom, you know what? Welcome back, okay? We don't want you away. Nobody wants to send you away. We just haven't seen you all day. Uh, this has nothing to do with my wife. It's not my fault to think that you want to send me out of your house. I don't know what is happening anymore. You don't love me. You don't listen to me. You despise me. Mom. You hate me. No, no. I don't know. Mom, don't talk like that. Right, I have no reason in the world to despise you. You're my mother. And I love you. Are you sure? Yes, Mom, I love you. Huh? Have you forgotten that you're my first wife? Then treat me like one. Mom, I already treat you good, but I need you to accept the second wife. That way, we all can live peacefully here, over my dead body. Never.
Mama, the aroma of your food. It's so nice. Can I try some? Sure. Oh. Mm. 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 It's delicious. Mm. I need to try more of this. I need, I need to eat more of these delicious meals because I know I won't find them in Paris when I get there. Paris? Yes. My husband and I are going on our second honeymoon. <laughs> Wait. Why? You mean my son wants to take you to Paris for his second honeymoon? Absolutely. We're going to spend three whole weeks. How can I will have to make this boy understand that I give birth to him? Your food, should I finish it? So, she has forced you to take all the money you've been gathering all these years to take her to Paris. Why don't you open your eyes to see she is not what you think? Listen to me, I'm your mother. I'm listening to you, mom. But I just can't make sense of what you're saying about my wife, mom. That's my wife. That woman has contributed to my growth. She got me the link to the first big contract that gave me my break in life. Mom, what else do you want? What? Is it not time we, we treat her nice? Eh? It's a lie. Fat lie. You would have been a better person if you hadn't met that evil woman from that professional school you attended after your graduation. Mom, do you know that Cindy helped me land the contract with Anambra State Government to construct the new Anambra International Market? And as we speak, she is designing that project. Can you not see that this girl is just about my growth? Look, mom, I understand that you don't like my wife. But for my sake, I'm your son, mom. You cannot love me and despise my wife. Find something in that girl, no matter how small, find something. Just maybe we can start from there. There's nothing to like. There is something to like. There's nothing. Open your eyes, mom. Nothing. There is nothing to like about her. There is nothing. She's a woman from Omogama. And women from Omogama, they naturally represent backwardness and stagnation. There is nothing to like about her. Let me tell you, if you ignore me and travel to Paris, I swear, I will kill myself before you come back. Try me. Oh, my, 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 I, can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, the man's an all the more peace of mind. My mama man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, the man's an all the more peace of mind. Aye, 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 aye. Why are you not picking your calls? Fine. I'm going somewhere very far tomorrow. I want you to come and take me. I will pay for the whole day. Yes. Okay then. Bye bye. So you just, exactly, you know, sometimes when, when, when it becomes constant, it's abused. I'm massaging you now, babe. But babe, I started with this one now. Eh? Babe, you're going to turn me to a professional masseuse. You know I can pay for a session for you. I don't know. Must it be a man? Ah, Mama? Mama, you're leaving. Ah, you didn't tell us you're leaving. What's going on? 
How is that your business? As if you care. You've been planning with your wife to send me away. Let me live with my dignity before you disgrace me. But Mama, nobody's chasing you away now. Really? You think you have won, right? You're the one chasing me instead of me chasing you. Don't worry. Very soon, you will know. Listen, Mom, you, you don't have to live this way. We're not fighting. You have made your choice. Leave me, let me go and die. Uh, who's talking about dying now? Mama. Sir, sir. Relax, 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 relax. It's fine. Sometimes, some space is also good. Okay? Yeah. It's fine. Trust me. Woman, you want your son to chase his wife away because of a girl called Sandra? Yes. Just do this for me and I'll be so glad to pay you whatever you want. How much do you know this Sandra of a girl? Well, I know her very well. To know that she's what my son wants. Mm. Woman. Your son's wife has a better spirit than this girl called Sandra. Well, I can't argue with you. I know where you're driving at. But the thing is, I want you to do something to separate them. I don't want her for my son. I'm not going to curse somebody that the gods has not even cost. Chukukikabiyama. It has nothing to do with this girl. But, please, I'm telling you, go home, find a way, reconcile with your son's wife. She has a better spirit, despite the fact of all that you have done to her. Let me tell you, I came here prepared. Whatever it will cost, I'm ready to pay. <laughs> Woman, my name is Obuebono. Okay, okay, Obak. I don't have anything to do with your money. I don't need your money. But all I'm telling you, please go home. Find a way and reconcile with your son's wife. My mama man, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. He meant to mourn, he meant to know no more. Peace of mind. My mama man, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. I'm not going to curse somebody that the gods has not even cursed. Chukuke Kabiyama. It has nothing to do with this care. But, please, I'm telling you, go home, find a way, reconcile with your son's wife. She has a better spirit, despite the fact of all that you have done to her. Who is he to tell me what I must do? I am giving you one more chance. Don't mess it up for me. Listen, just listen. I will send you all the details you need for this job. You go to her like a client. Schedule a business meeting with her. Make sure you get her in a compromised position. I don't care how you do it. Just do whatever you can do, even if you have to drug her, do it. This is your last chance. Yeah. Oh, really? You would not regret doing business with us. Oh, what hotel is that? Okay, oh, fine, great. 
See you tomorrow. All right, thank you. Babe, mm -hmm. did I tell you about the um the meeting I have at the hotel tomorrow? Why the hotel? Why not my office? Ah, because it involves a lot of people. So the company decided I would do it there. But it's fine. I don't have a lot, you know, scheduled for tomorrow. We we, we can have it at night. No, it's fine. I can handle it for now. You sure? Okay. Call me up tomorrow when you need me then. Sure. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I feel like kissing you. Come on, kiss. Come on, kiss. Lie down. Come on, kiss. Kiss will not kill you. Come on, kiss. Oh my god. How old are you? Hey, guy. Where you did? I did road now. I did come. Is she around? Not yet. I hope you're dressed like a businessman. Yes, trust me. You just have to be smart, okay? Hurry up. My G. Okay. What's up, bro? How are you doing? Ah, where is the babe? She's on her way. Okay. okay. You know what you're playing as? You're my PA. Our company is building an estate, okay? Yeah, so just to relax. Uh, no, Alan, as long as he pays, bro. Uh, no shaking. I need to um, use the restroom. I did press. It's right. I did come. Oh, yeah, You've seen the you, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. So, um, we're here now, so I'm just going to ask. Guy, okay. that babe in a bad market. Leave that place now. Come and meet me at the bar behind you. Just leave the place now. Meet me at the bar behind. Oh, okay, fine. I've heard you. Oh, okay, I'll meet you up later. Okay. Okay, so where are the others? Uh, something came up. Right. They're not here right now, okay? I, I have an emergency. Oh, there's no problem. Everything is okay, but I, I, I have an emergency. I think I'll meet you at the office tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Okay. Are you sure that ladies won't come back here? For what? Sidney does not have such time. You mean that woman is a mother-in-law? Why is she using the boat of us? Why? I wonder what she wants to achieve. Maybe she's trying to know if the lady is capable of cheating. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. From what she told me, and what she asked me to do to her, I think she wants to set her up. She wants to set her up so that her son will chase her away. That woman is very heartless. But why is she doing something like that to her? The fact still remains that Cindy is a very nice person. Calm and respectful. You see this woman? I will teach her the lesson of her life. So what do you think we should do? What do we do? What is my beautiful wife doing all caged up in this room? I thought you said that you, you had this apartment with the doctor, Dr. Gladys. Yeah. Today is the happiest day of my life. Okay. What happened? But, but what's going on? But talk to me. Find out for yourself. Are you okay? You're shaking. Find out.
Congratulations. I would love you for the rest of my <laughs> life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been like that. I know you don't want me to go, but I have to go. Baby, you know you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. The older the wine, the better, you know? You can say that again. Now I know what that means. <laughs> Is that why you want to break my waist? <laughs> I have to go now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to run along. All right. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. She's gone. I saw her leaving. How is she? Amazing woman. Go check your camera. A woman who is doing everything possible to destroy her daughter-in-law is actually the cheap slot that could be laid in just two days of talking to me. I will give her an overdose of her own medicine. You are the guru in the game. So what are you planning to do? Hello, my son. How are you doing? Wow, let's hear it. You finally found out that your mother has been telling you the truth and you have sent that witch away, right? I'm not sending her away, mother. The good news actually is that she is pregnant, mom. What? Yes, mom, Cindy is, is pregnant. You, you are going to be a grandmother soon. Congrats to her. How did that happen? How on earth did she get pregnant? Pregnant? How? Hello, Mamuju. Madam Veru, how could you do so low to disgrace yourself and your entire family? As old as you are, eh, Madam Veru? You are a disgrace to womanhood. What is wrong with you? Why are you talking to me like that? I ever regret calling you my friend, Madam Vero. Your nude pictures and videos are all over the internet. Go and you will find it there. Need what? How can? How? Me. You ain't need a 
You need to calm down. You see, your mother that you know cannot do a thing like this. So we need to calm down in order to get the truth out of her. It's fine. Thanks for the wise counsel, but we're here. Let's let's, let's see. In my quest to destroy a good woman, I destroyed myself. I made myself to be caught in the act. I lacked the face to continue. <laughs> I'm a real 